Oh my god, he's gonna take it down. I told you. I'll take it to you. It was uh, an interesting morning. Me, Jim, and Joanne, we arrived at the water holder one morning and there was the Evoca Pride consisting of 12 lines currently. They were just lazing about on the side of the dam. We all decided to put a GoPro and see what happened. Oh my God, he's gonna take it down. It's going. We put it down on the gorilla pod and two of the lions took interest in it. One went from behind and actually took the gorilla pod and the other male lion came in from the front and took the GoPro from the front. Um, as soon as that happened, the one from behind actually ran off with the GoPro and gorilla pod. Um, and then just started walking around with, with it in its mouth, started filming other lions in the, in the pride. Some of them were yawning, as you can see, very exciting and worrying at the time. There goes my GoPro. Would it survive? Would I be able to get the footage from it? The GoPro landed coming out the housing and another lion decided to pick it up and went filming with it. They had a good time playing with it. We did a loop to see uh, where the lion initially went with the GoPro. When we arrived, they actually caught some of the footage of us arriving back at the site. We saw it was still filming, the red light and the blue light were still flashing, which put a bit of a smile on my face that it wasn't a, a lost cause. And uh, when we arrived, it, it dropped the GoPro and we were fortunate to get the footage. The GoPro obviously was sitting in the mouth of the line like this. One of the teeth marks went through the micro USB or the charging port there. And it's just got little puncture wounds all through the camera casing. It still works 100%. We've tested it. We put the SD card in. We filmed it. Still records. It was um, quite fascinating that this little piece of equipment still, still performs, even though it was being charred by a line. <laughs> It was uh, some, some words said from me when the GoPro went that I that, uh, won't be able to say on, on camera. Um, but Jim and Joanne, which are very good clients of Makanyi Lodge, and they visit us frequently, they thought it was hilarious. Um, we were fortunate enough, Joanne was taking photos of the t at the time, and our rager Brad told me this was a bad idea, and uh, there goes your GoPro. But uh, nevertheless, we managed to get it back successfully with some great footage. In the African bush looking for a GoPro case, eh? <laughs> Joanne, Jim and Brad um, went on a walking safari and they, they did manage to find the housing um, and it's apparently it's still in perfect condition. No way. No! I had, uh, I had a GoPro 1 initially and I had that and shit, but no, not the GoPro 4 Black. I mean, that's also a good party equipment, but yeah, it's going to be coming shit very soon. <laughs>